think it's interesting the way this whole process took place. Going back early to verse 18, God makes the observation, it's not good that a man should be alone, which we all would agree with. Absolutely. So I'm going to make this help me, meaning someone who's suitable and just right for him. You would think that verse 19 would say, so he made Eve. But instead, he makes animals and brings them to Adam. And asks Adam what he calls him. It's like, Adam, is this your help me? And he says, no, that's not my help me. That's, that's an elephant. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, what about this? Is this your help me? No, that's a, that's a monkey or whatever. Yeah. And when it's all done, it says, he gave names to all the beasts of the field. But for Adam, they were not found to help me for him. God's trying to teach him something. And then he takes the rib out of Adam and creates woman and brings her and says, now, what about this? And Adam recognizes this is my help me this Please. is the ticket yeah so he's telling adam you know what she's different than every other creation yeah so different uh, th that, the way you set that up that's, that is yeah, really like that. terrific like it very much I, I would i would add too that um i think that the hebrew would imply that that what god is asking is is there a helper suitable to you, yeah. uh, which I think is the meaning of help meet for you. In other words, is this is this suitable? Uh, is there a helper found that's suitable for you? No. And then, as as you said, he finally has one. And it's a it's a it's a helper who is equal. That's uh, the Hebrew suggests that as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's, it's a it's comparable. A, it's a, that's right. A mirror Com image, yeah. Yeah. complementary, but opposite. It's right. like it's right. like where you're weak, she's going to be strong. Right. Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, what, what other point I think uh, important to make here is is uh, in several places here in the creation, it's clear that some things are figurative and not meant literally. And and in the case of the rib, uh, I, I'd say we we would all agree that this is not uh, yeah. God going <coughs> and, and poof. There's there's Eve. In fact, uh, President uh, Kimball explicitly stated that the rib is figurative. Yeah. Uh, and so, well, I think we learned that in sacred places too. Other sure, which begs Absolutely. the question: Why a rib? Yeah. Why, why the rib bone? Uh, the rabbis had some interesting. Uh, well, it's next to you. Yeah, I mean, there, 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 there's various yeah, all kinds uh, of. Yeah. At, it's, at, at, it's by it's your side, out. by your side, next to your heart, so on and so on. Under your arm for protection, yeah. not from the head bone to rule over or the yeah. foot bone to step on, yeah. Yeah. but by your side to be close to you. But, there's another concept here too that I think we ought to mention. The word cleave. Um, Adam makes the statement. He, he now has his helpmate. She's here. And he says, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, unto his helpmate. And the, and the Hebrew, I love the Hebrew, cleave, that's just from the Hebrew word debach, and, and, it, and it, it suggests a relationship of tightness, sort of like skin to bone. In other words, what, what what Adam is teaching is now I have my help meet. Nothing, no other loyalty, no other love, no other anything is to come between that relationship. In other words, Eve has first priority on my emotions, on my time, on my love, and vice versa. So does Adam. And and this will play out in the garden when yeah. when when Eve is invited to leave. Because you've partaken of the fruit, Adam knows he's going to go too. Because why? Because he can't, he's, he can't leave her. He's going to cleave and clean because that's, right. that's the proper relationship. As, lo as long as we've got four of us men around the table here, can I share with you one of my favorite quotes from President Hunter uh, that bears directly on this verse, verse 22? President Hunter said, at "This President Howard W. Hunter, he said, quote." A man who holds the priesthood accepts his wife as a partner in the leadership of the home and family with full knowledge of and full participation in all decisions relating thereto. Of necessity, there must be in the church and in the home a presiding officer, section 107, verse 21. By divine appointment, the responsibility to preside in the home rests upon the priesthood holder. The Lord intended that the wife be a help meet for man. Meet means equal. That is a companion equal and necessary in full partnership. Presiding in righteousness necessitates a shared responsibility between husband and wife. Together you act with knowledge and participation in all family matters. For a man to operate independently without regard to the feelings and counsel to his wife in governing the family is to exercise unrighteous dominion. Unquote. That's a general conference. You know, that doctrine is further carried when it says and they shall be one flesh yeah. to me that's pointing to the to the truth the yeah. very important truth that the unit of exaltation 
the one unit of exaltation is a husband and a wife. Yeah. The two together, they become e one. Exaltation is never a solitary enterprise. It always involves others. Exaltation between a husband and wife. Husband and wife can't be exalted without commitment to the Lord, without the atoning sacrifice. The, the, salvation is a corporate affair. That is to say there are many people involved in, in salvation. I think yet another aspect of that one flesh, I, I think in a very real sense, it, it's a, a um, reference to sexual relations. Mm -hmm. You literally become one flesh, and that is why uh, sexual immorality is such a terrible sin. That is a, a bond that should only exist between husband and wife, and to, to uh, do that with uh, anyone else is, is to, to uh, I almost want to say prostitute, the, the, the very sacred relationship that is so necessary to exalt Well, it's to shatter the covenant is what it is. And, and, and that's why Satan is, tr you know, that's one of the things that Satan really is trying to get us to do, is, is to break those sacred covenants of chastity. Yeah. That is so and important. to cleave to something else other than your wife, well, even right. if it's another person. Exactly. It's, it's, uh, you did a wrong. good job of explaining that. I, I also am mindful of one other thing, and, and this is commentary by uh, President Joseph Fielding Smith. He wrote a little uh, series of books, or uh, compiled from his uh, talks and his correspondence. It was a uh, three-volume series called Doctrines of Salvation. And he says in volume two that uh, when it's talking about the Lord um, bringing the woman to the man, it, it really is talking about uh, God our Father marrying Adam and Eve for time and all eternity, and that that marriage took place while they were in the garden and was performed by God the Father himself, so that we see some consistency with all of the, the sacred doctrines and ordinances uh, in our day that stretch clear back to the time of our first parents. You know, that, that's interesting, um, Andy, because uh, at the time of their marriage, they were immortal. That's right. Therefore, the first marriage was whatever. Yeah. That's the pattern. Yeah, it's it's an eternal pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exist. right. There, there was no, no not death in the, first in the garden. Yeah. And, that, and that, in fact, is a point that President yeah. Smith yeah. makes. Yeah. Thank you. Well, uh, Adam and Eve are together. They are married. But as they uh, are uh, involved in, in activities tending to the garden and, uh, and exercising stewardship, uh, somebody shows up. And who is the someone that shows up? Satan. The and adversary. The adversary. And what's on his mind? Well, he wants to try and destroy God's plan. It's his, mm -hmm. his ultimate purpose and, and thinks that, that by by getting Adam and Eve to, to break the commandments of God. But where do we find that information? Turn that's, to the that's, Restoration that's in, Scriptures. Uh, Pearl of Great Price, chapter... Uh, or it's verse 6, Satan put into the heart of the serpent, for he had drawn many after him, and he sought also to beguile Eve, for he knew not the mind of God, wherefore he sought to destroy the world. He knew not the mind of God is the, the key point there.